don't you? Oh yeah, I got used to that. <laughs> No, that's good, man. That's good. I don't know what we're going to preach today, but the Lord does. Oh, I hear you. I come here every day. Praise the Lord. Well, glory to God. Amen. This is Past Evangelist Andre Otis. Praise God. We do want to welcome those of you here on the, uh, praise God, the 1590 uh, AM uh, station here on the KKAY. We do appreciate those of you that's been tuning in here at the noon time uh, to listen to the radio broadcast. We also welcome our Facebook viewers. Praise God. Amen. God bless you, Sister Mooney. Appreciate you so much. Yeah, Brother Mooney, big hug for me. Praise God. And um, we, uh, we, so we do appreciate those of you. Welcome you to Revealing the Truth of the Cross Radio, Praise God, broadcast. Well, praise God. We are excited about what God is doing. We want to remind those of you that are tuning in, uh, you can go on Facebook Live and view us. Uh, on the uh, Facebook Live. Also, we're on the YouTube now. And uh, praise God, we are loading messages and uh, sending out videos and, and uh, on the YouTube. And uh, just put in Pastor Evangelist Andre Otis, and you should be able to view the, uh, praise God, the messages on YouTube. We're also going to be doing some live. Eventually, YouTube uh, messages uh, in the near future. Uh, we want to bring all of those of you on Facebook to the YouTube side. Praise God. And um, uh, praise God so you can view us on the YouTube. Uh, as, well as, you, as well as even the radio audiences, we want to wear you. Praise God that um, whether it's from here, Shreveport, it doesn't matter, Mobile, Alabama, Richmond, Virginia, Pensacola, Florida, uh, Laplace area, uh, the Baton Rouge area, praise God, and even in the uh, the Jasper, Texas uh, radio broadcasts in which we're on, 11 different radio stations that we're on, and uh, we want to pretty much aware everybody, praise God, of the Facebook and uh, also of the YouTube, and the next thing is going to be, praise God, TV. Uh, we're only just following the lead of the Lord. We're not following any 
a particular way you go about doing things and we just we just obeying God and uh, we've been seeking God for wisdom and uh, praise God and understanding and guidance and leading the leading leading us to be able to uh, do what He wants and uh, that's really what it's all about and we we don't want to do what we want to do we want to do what God wants to do uh, He's funding it He's providing the means for it and uh, praise God so we definitely want it to be done Amen His praise God His way. Well, praise the Lord, uh, 225-473-6022. Uh, you can call that number. Somebody is uh, waiting by the phones. Praise God to pray with you. Uh, and I want to encourage that, praise God, even the more on this broadcast here today. What I feel the Lord is leading me into here today, uh, praise God, I want to encourage you. Praise God, call that line, praise God, and uh, someone is there to pray with you by no means. Are we saying if you don't call that line, uh, you're not going to get your needs met? I'm not saying that at all whatsoever. You can call on the Lord. Praise God as you hear the word of God going forth. Believe it. Take God at his word. Amen. And trust him and you can have your need met. Praise God. Uh, we do have some literature, some things we'd like to give to you uh, that we have from our pastor Leroy Surface. And there's some books he's written along with his son Keith Surface. Praise God. And... Uh, uh, I believe will be a blessing to you, an encouragement to you, praise God, and a strength to you. So, praise God, if you want some of those literatures, we do have that available. For you are the songs, uh, the glory of his cross, uh, or I found him, um, which are two songs. And then we have also two, seven different other songs on that one CD as well, the glory of his cross. Now, we, again, um, we will be putting out another CD. Uh, there's some songs that God has given uh, to us, and uh, we want to put that on CD. There are actually going to be our songs that God has given to us on those on those CDs, every single one of them that we're going to record next. And uh, praise the Lord. Well, let's get into, amen, the Word of God. <clears throat> and uh, right now, turn your Bibles, if you would, or give us your ear to Colossians, the uh, first chapter of the book of Colossians. And uh, what is on my heart, praise God, is in the verse um, number 17. And he is before all things, and by him or in him all things, praise God, amen, consist. That is the that is the heart, uh, really, of what God is, is uh, putting on my heart to give and to present and to share with you, precious folks. And um, uh, and so he is before all things, and by him all things, praise God, consist. Keep that verse of scripture there in mind, and the word consist there is to set together. Amen. Everything is set together, praise God, amen, uh, by Christ. It's, um, uh, I love this too, it's constituted, praise God, it's commended or is exhibited. The implication is nothing exists of itself. Nothing functions of itself. Everything is because he is. Praise God. Everything exists because he exists. Um, praise God. Everything has function because he lives. Praise God. And um, and so we want to get into that um, uh, here on this radio broadcast. But let's let's talk about a little bit he it, he who is before praise God all things and in whom or in him who this him is praise God and I, I want to just kind of talk about that just a little bit if you notice in the um, uh, in the twelfth verse of um, Colossians one giving thanks unto the Father which had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints of God in light. Uh, this is uh, one of the, uh, of, uh, I, I hate to say things, but this is also which is uh, set together or is exhibited or, or that exists because, praise God, he is. And so God has, has delivered us, him in whom we give thanks unto, uh, who has made us meet, who has qualified us through redemption, through salvation, by grace and by his mercy, Praise God through the gospel of Christ and to be partakers of the inheritance, praise God, of the saints, praise God, amen, of God. And notice this here, in light. So there's an inheritance 
amen, praise God, glory to God, that God has prepared, amen, in light, praise God. And so we're partakers of the inheritance of the saints of God in light. Now, I want to say this, that in the 13th verse, who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom, praise God, of his dear son. Now, the kingdom of God is that which is inherited. That is, uh, in a sum, the inheritance, praise God, is that which is pertaining to the kingdom of God's dear son. You have the kingdom, you have more than what you can even begin to imagine that the Lord has prepared for us to be partakers of this great inheritance, inheriting the kingdom of the Lord Jesus, praise God, amen, Christ, God's, amen, dear, praise God, son. Now, he delivered us from the powers of darkness, amen, the powers of darkness, uh, he delivered us from sin, he delivered us from death, praise God, he made us free from the law, the curse of the law, he made us free from the devil, amen, and the demons, and uh, he made us free from that old man, he made us free from this world, he made us free, praise God, he delivered us, praise God, from the powers of darkness, and translated us, the word translated, he transferred us, praise God, from out of darkness into the kingdom, praise God, of his dear son. And we'll come back, amen, to the kingdom of God's dear, praise God, son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Now, this is the means in which God had delivered us from the powers of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of, praise God, his dear son. It's the means of redemption that is in Christ Jesus, which tells you a whole lot, praise God, about, amen, redemption. Praise God, redemption, Christ giving himself as a ransom or a substitution, a proxy, a perpetuation. Praise God, or an atonement, sacrifice. All these are synonymous terms, amen. The old implication is, is that Christ died in our stead. The implication there is, is that whatever happened to Christ at Calvary, and I've always said this, I'm repeating this ever the more, because it's vital for you to understand. If Christ hung on that cross and died, folks, listen to me, everything died, everything ceased. Praise God. Amen. To exist when Christ hung on Calvary's cross. It may not have appeared to be. It may not have seemed like to the natural eye and to the natural functions of things. Praise God. But 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 when Christ was kneeled to that cross, amen, praise God. The Bible tells us very, very, very plainly. In Romans 8 and 3, in, uh, in that the law was weak through the flesh, uh, uh, in that what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, for sin condemned sin in the flesh. Now, why is that so important to understand that? Uh, sin that caused all kinds of chaos, chaos in the heavens. Praise God that the iniquity was found in Lucifer, a third of the angels beguiled and deceived. Then Lucifer comes into the garden, would sin in him, and then beguiles Eve, and Adam disobeys God. Sin then, in terms, not only is a third of the angels beguiled and deceived, and the, the, the angel of God is beguiled and deceived, but now who was Lucifer, now Adam, and the whole entirety of the creation, amen, is now fallen, praise God, under sin from God, and is in a state of eternal death and separation, amen, from God. The wages of sin is death. That's when that wage was instituted. When sin entered in, we all died, amen, eternally from God. And that was the, that was the, the, uh, uh, the future, amen, or the dilemma for man, the eternal separation from God, amen, praise God, in sin and praise God in death. That's why I love in the uh, Romans 8 and 2, Paul said, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin and death. That's sin and its wedge, the sin and its wedge, praise God, the sin of Lucifer entered into Adam, entered into us, the wage was death. And so Paul said, Christ, the, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made us free, made us free from the law of sin and death. 
Now, I don't have time right now to go into all of the different eras concerning the sin nature, what people believe and teaching about sin nature. All you need to know is according to the scripture, God, praise God, has delivered us, amen, from, amen, sin and death, made us free from sin and death according to the law of the spirit of life in, praise God, Christ Jesus. And so he that the Son make free is free, praise God, indeed. Now then, we understand then, sin and death was a dilemma. Also, too, at Calvary, Christ destroyed sin and abolished death, praise God, on the cross. Amen, praise God, amen, of Calvary. He did that, praise God, when he suffered the cross of Calvary. I love preaching about the cross of Christ in light of what Christ did and accomplished, praise God, there, amen, on Calvary's cross. I love it. I I. I, I, I enjoy proclaiming what Christ had accomplished, praise God, for whosoever will there on the cross, amen, of Calvary. In First Timothy, 2 Timothy, the uh, first chapter, be not, uh, uh, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony, verse 8, of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God who had saved us. Amen. And called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose. I love that. Not according to our own works, our own doings, uh, praise God, but according to his own purpose and grace. Amen. Which he had given us in Christ Jesus before the world, praise God, began. God chose a people in Christ, a people that would be of the purpose of God and of the grace of God inside of Christ. Praise God. And first of all, Adam and Eve was all created, amen, in Christ. Though from the dirt, from the dust of the ground, it doesn't matter. Everything was created in Christ, by Christ, for Christ, through Christ. Praise God. And without him, without logos, was not anything made, praise God, that was made. So it's obvious then, in Christ, the first two people, amen, to partake of the holy image and likeness and nature of God is Adam, praise God, and Eve. But they fell from that. We didn't get that privilege to be able to participate of the grace and purpose of God, praise God, amen, that would have came channeled down to us, praise God, through the first man, Adam, if he would have obeyed. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God. <clears throat> so Christ had to come. The prophecy of the seed. Praise God. Amen. Of the woman had to come. And so when he came as the seed of the woman, thus the incorruptible seed, amen, of God Almighty, Christ has brought to us the purpose and the grace of God, praise God, because God had chose in Christ before the foundation of the world a people that would be holy without blame before God, amen, in love. Now, Ephesians, the first chapter, praise God, in the third verse tells you, amen, concerning this blessedness, amen, of God, that he blessed us. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who had blessed us with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ, according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we be holy and without blame before him, praise God, in love. That is the, the, the third and the fourth verse of Ephesians, praise God, the first chapter. Now, that purpose and that grace of God was the intent that a people be holy without blame before God in love inside, amen, of Christ, inside of the Christ, inside of Logos, inside of the Christ. And so what happens is, is that Adam failed to bring that to us. And so then God, after the fall, praise God, before the birth of East, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of Cain, praise God, that, that before this present evil world was founded, God chose the people, praise God, amen, in Christ. Now, the seed of the woman who would come to bruise the head of the devil, praise God, thus would be the deliverance from the powers of darkness, that freedom from sin and death, that freedom from the curse of the law, that 
get freedom from this world, with the world crucified to us and we to the world all by the Lord Jesus Christ, the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so then this matter is, is that Christ at Calvary brought debt to all of those things. What happened to Christ happened to sin, happened to debt, happened to the devil, happened to this world, happened to the curse of the law. Everything was affected, praise God, when Logos, when the Christ died on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Man, that's powerful. Praise God. Everything, everything, praise God, exhibits or consists or is set together, amen, by, praise God, Jesus Christ. Amen. It was that way before the fall. And Christ, after the fall, had to come, praise God, because everything, everything was for him, created in him, created, praise God, through him, by him, and without him, nothing has an existence without Christ. So whatever happened, happens to Christ at Calvary. That's what is called the reconciliation. Everything, praise God, has been reconciled. For even man, even the soul of man, even the individuals that are, you and I that repented and believed the gospel of Christ. But everything has been, praise God, reconciled. This is why there is a new heavens and a new earth that is going to appear in that day, praise God, when, praise God, after that final judgment of God, the white throne judgment of God, where the former is going to pass away, when heaven and earth is going to flee from the face of him, praise God, that sits on the throne, because Christ put it all into, hallelujah, glory to God, because Christ put it all into effect, when he died and suffered, amen, praise God, the cross of Calvary and came out, praise God, of that grave. And so then the Bible tells us that, but, but it's now made manifest. See, Christ has made manifest the purpose and the grace that was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. But it's now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Jesus the Christ, or Jesus Christ, who had abolished death and had brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. So that Christ is the one who has brought in life and immortality. That's why the Bible said the wage of sin is dead, but the gift of God is eternal life through, through or in the Lord Jesus Christ. I come that you might have life, he said, and that you might have it, praise God, more, amen, abundantly, and immortality. This is why we shall experience the immortality, amen, in reference to these flesh and blood bodies that shall not inherit the kingdom, but praise God, but but is that that body of immortality and incorruption, praise God, that we shall put on when Christ returns. Now we have already Already been clothed or been burnt with that incorruptible new man. The new man is an incorruptible new man. Praise God. That new man, that divine nature, is an incorruptible nature in which we have received Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in you, the life that's eternal. We've received and been born of God by an incorruptible seed, Christ crucified is the incorruptible seed. Praise God, amen of God. And so then the implication here, Christ brought uh, uh, life and immortality, praise God, to light when he appeared, went to Calvary and did away with the corruptible and did away, praise God, with the, with, with the mortal and did away with that, praise God, the terrestrial, and brought about a celestial, praise God, precious Savior. Glory to God, a new creation when he came out of that grave. And so debt is abolished. It doesn't matter to me. When a child of God falls asleep, they're not dead. They're falling asleep, but they're awake instantly in the presence, amen, of the Lord. Absent from the body is to be present. Well, Lord Jesus Christ brought that about through his death, his burial, quickening, resurrection. Thank God his ascension. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so then this matter here, uh, and it brought life and immortality to light through the gospel, whereunto I'm appointed a preacher 
Thank God and an apostle and a teacher of the Gentile. Every man of God can claim this. Every man of God can claim this. Praise God. You may not be an apostle. You might be a pastor, teacher. You may be an evangelist. You may be a prophet. Maybe an apostle. Maybe a, 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 just a minister of the Lord. You may don't need any of these, these, these titles. Praise God. But you minister, ordained and appointed a minister. Praise God. And you fill in the blank and a teacher of the Gentiles. Praise God. And so it's unto this gospel of the Christ, uh, praise God, who has appeared, our Savior, in light of what he did. This is what we are appointed unto. This gospel is the life of every child of God. It's the existence of every child of God. It's not just something we say, but it's what we live and what lives uh, Praise God in us on a day-to-day -day basis. It's an eternal, amen, purpose of God. The eternal grace, amen, of God. And so everything consists of Christ. And praise God. Everything is consistent of Christ. Everything is held together by Christ. Everything is exhibited by Christ. Everything. Nothing in this world has any existence of itself. Everything, amen, exists because of him. Everything is, uh, is, is, uh, is uh, praise God, is destroyed and, and defeated and overcome because of Christ. And so, Man, I tell you what, my time is up. I, I, I'm going to pick up here on tomorrow. You don't want to miss it. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. God bless you folks. And we're going to see you. Amen. Next time. Praise God. God bless you folks. Amen. Today that have tuned in. Praise God. This lesson or I, I never viewed myself as a, a series preacher or teacher. But I do know that I have to deal with these things here that God has given to me uh, because it's of utmost importance. Praise God. And my son said something sometime back when he was preaching. He said, you know, sin ain't all of that. Death ain't all of that. The devil ain't all of that. Pray, darkness ain't all of that. Uh, you know, all, all these things that, you know, that the religion ain't all of that. Uh, the foul religious spirits ain't all of that. Uh, your bondage ain't all of that. Uh, praise God, because of the Savior, because of Christ that has come. Praise God, and brought victory, and brought victory. Praise God, in his death, his bloodshed, his burial, his resurrection. Praise God, amen. Every person bound can go free. Not tomorrow, right now. Praise God. See, that's what's so awesome about the gospel of Christ, about the Lord. He, he is now. Amen. He that liveth was dead. He said, but I'm alive forevermore. Praise God. Amen. He is now, and he's conquered everything, every bondage, every, every affliction, every disease, every inf infirmity. Amen. That came in through the entrance of sin. And this is really what I was wanting to go through with, with, with this as well. Amen. He's overcome it all, every bit of this world, everything that's in this world, everything that exists in this world, praise God, has a time limit, has a time limit. Praise God, praise God. And when he comes back, this former shall be no more. Everybody's looking for that day where there should be no more pain, no more sorrow, no more debt, and so on, whatever you. Listen, you can experience, you can taste of the power of that world to come right now. You don't have to wait till Christ returns. Praise God, but Christ can ease your pain right now. He can wipe away your tears right now. Christ can soothe whatever affliction, deliver you from out of every affliction and accomplishing you whatever needs to be accomplished today because he did it for you at Calvary. The work is finished at Calvary so that Christ now who reigns victorious, praise God, can appear to you the moment you repent, leave the gospel, and call on him. Just simply call, praise God, upon him. Well, God bless you, folks. Amen. We're going to see you, praise God, next time. God bless you.